Hey, nice. So we're starting off this episode with our new personal best at Zara, 1 minute 29. I don't actually have Venge on this account yet, so I could do it a lot quicker. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, there we go. Lunar Diplomacy finished. So obviously I spent the last couple of days getting 60 mining because it is fucking slow at Motherlode Mine. Um, but yeah, we're finished. That quest has always been alright. It's just extremely long. Um, like it still takes like an hour, more than an hour, but it's just, it's it's a nice quest to do. I don't mind it. Uh, 5k magic and runecrafting. That'll actually piss me up a bit on runecrafting. Fuck yeah, 30 runecrafting. Very nice. Now, uh, with, with learners as well, I'm going to switch. I think I can switch, right? Have a look. Hang on. Nice. I'm going to try, I'm going to try uh, Zora with Venge. Apparently, it's like the thing to do. Uh, this also unlocks um, Edgeville PKing and the like for me as well. So quite a, quite a big thing. Someone's actually trying a skull trick here. That's actually pretty fucking, like, inventive. I haven't seen that before. He I re he actually kind of, like, I just went to do it. And then I went, hang on. Luckily, I fucking right-clicked. I wonder if people are actually going to end up doing that. All right, I can now cast Claws of Guthix. What I, oh, fuck. Um, what I was doing with that guy, if you look right now, see how my character is facing, like, the wall? If I right-click and report this guy... My character's now facing him. So the whole time I was fucking doing it at him. And he stayed around for literally five minutes. And he goes, Oh, did you really just try it? Ah! Ah! You know? And now I'm out of here. So let's hopefully this guy doesn't go on me. Okay, log out. Okay, so shout out to Egg Bagel and Don't Panic 666. I've just spent the last probably three hours trying to get this fucking cave. Oh, here comes a boy in now. Look at that. There's so many people here. Okay, let's give him the... Actually, let's get off the PvP world. This is probably ridiculous. So, imbue your Saradomen cap. I've got to think about this. I think out of everything, the most used uh, spell for me will probably be the Sara cape because I use it when I skull trick and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going for it. Let's see it. Oh, baby. Oh, it's fucking ugly. Oh, that's fucking ugly. Ah, oh, well. We'll work with it. Very good. That took me fucking hours, man. I died like seven times doing this, so hopefully it's worth it. I'm going to go test out a Zara kill with this, um, and maybe some raids, although I don't usually use this for raids, but it might be worth it. Holy fuck, that was quick. What was that? Holy, that's 20 seconds quicker than my fucking last PB. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I just finished um, Between a Rock, and that is the second last quest I have to do that will give me defense XP. So now I'm sitting at 43 defense, uh, and also 171 quest points. So I'm four quest points away from um, Barrow's Gloves. And the main grunt I just did to get the quest points was uh, the, the Anchor Quest. I can't even remember what it's called, the Great Brain Rubbery or something like that. So now I can also use an Anchor on this account. Um, the next quest that I think I'm going to do for defense is What Lies Below. Um, I'm pretty sure that gives me 2k, which won't actually get me a level, and then I can, I think I can just train the rest. We're finally fucking finished. That's, God, that's like, uh, what a weight off my fucking shoulders. Now we can go kill that shitty boss in fucking RFD, and then we have Barrow's Gloves. And we're finished. Such a fucking, that's such an easy, like, fight. Hardly anything you have to do. 20k XP lamp. Hopefully I can put that all on runecrafting because I fucking hate runecrafting. But yeah, there we go. Barrow Scarves. Excellent. Oh, fuck. I need runecrafting to be 50. Oh, I just actually read up. Apparently you can bank this. So what I'm going to do is bank it until I'm 50, I think. Hey, I just got 45 defense training on that last guard to finish it off. Um, I, I now have done every single defense quest except for that... that 11k defense xp one but i don't actually need to do that for this account uh it would only ever be to um well yeah it doesn't actually give me anything at all let's get this um zergaham on hopefully i've got one in here yeah fuck yeah let's have a look how cute i am oh baby look at those fucking pointy ears on me oh yeah you, 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 that's fucking cute so now um i've just checked i have done pretty much every single prayer quest um so i think i'm able to manually train it to 55 now Okay, this should be the last bone, and there we have it. 55 prayer, so that now unlocks the spirit shield, and in theory, my account stat-wise, combat stats, is now finished, uh, other than training my mage. I don't actually want to push that, that those strength levels up to 99 yet, because I don't want those extra two combat levels. Um, but I can get 99 mage, and I can do it really quickly, because I have Monkey Madness 2 finished, 
Um, I think what I'm going to do right now is I want to get 70 agility so that I can um, kill the Saradomen boss. So that shouldn't take too long considering I have um, full grace already. Um, but yeah, 99 mage. We'll get rune crafting up a bit as well. And we'll see what we can do. So I've just had a think about it. In order to push my total up to 1750, I pretty much need 70 base skilling stats. Um, that's including rune crafting, obviously. So I, I do actually need 75. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go do some slay out while I train fletching. I, I know thieving actually isn't that bad, so that's one I'm not worried about. It's just it's it's really just rune crafting. I honestly just can't train it. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's just it's too much. All right, <clears throat> first task. Let's see what we get. Steel dragons. I'm gonna kill myself. All right, come on, give me something non shitty. Anku, fuck me. Hey, nice. So first um, cave horror task ever, and we cop a fat old black mask. So beautiful. This is also my first task after unlocking superiors, and I've al already had one. No imbued heart, but I'm expecting to get one because I'm fucking lucky. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Someone is dropping pineapple pizzas because they look like Mark of Graces on the spots where they'd normally be. Don't tell me that's another one. It is too. <laughs> Oh, that's actually fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it. Fuck this cat. I'll drop it again for someone else. I don't think they possibly could have designed a worse skill than this. But anyway, there's 70 agility. Fuck, that was so fucking shit. I reckon I have, I don't know, I reckon maybe 200 marks of grace in the bank. Um, the stats are actually, if you look at that, you go, hey, they're, they're actually pretty good now. I'm almost base 70s, but that fucking ugly rune crafting and thieving needs to be done and these two obviously so we got a lot of stuff to do 174 marks that's quite a lot i reckon that took me i reckon that was maybe three or four hours per level uh so let's say that took me nearly a day probably more than a day that's fucking insane hey and there's 65 farming that's been a while in the making don't fucking come over here jungle spider these things are so fucking annoying um i've been working on my skills a bit we're going up we're getting up there 1555 now that's quite an upgrade from what i was before i want to get 70 thieving but i know i have to blackjack and i fucking hate blackjacking but we're gonna do it anyway also i'm pretty sure i have a zami task at the moment so i might try and do some zami solos i don't know how to go on a zerk but we'll see Hey, 65 thieving. So that those last, I reckon, five levels from 60 to 65 are so fucking slow because you, you do the same bandit from 55. And it, I swear to God, regardless of what level thieving you are, they still fucking knock you. Like, they still hit back as many times as they want. Like, all right, well, at least now I'm pretty sure I can do the mana fights. Yeah, I can. So this should speed us up a bit. That took about, for anyone wondering, 55 to 65 took about probably about six hours, maybe a bit longer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 72 Thieving because that's the requirement for the elite clue for the King Lather's chest. Um, and as well as that, uh, I need, um, I think, I, th I think I need around 70 to be able to be completely relevant in raids as well. I'm committed now. I'm definitely committed. I'm going all the way through to 72. I, fuck, this is bad. Look at my stats now, fuck. They, they don't actually look that bad. That looks fucking shit. That looks fucking shit. These look fucking shit, but the rest of it isn't too bad. Okay. Fuck me, that's sh such a shit skill. Hopefully, I never, ever, ever have to train that again, because I'm pretty sure, at uh, being 72, that's the actual last requirement, which is this fucking... King Lathers chest. I'm probably wrong, but I'm hoping I'm right. That's the end of thieving. What the fuck? I'm killing these to get um, ecumenical keys, and I get a fucking champion scroll. That's the third one on my account now from just doing pointless shit. Look at this cunt trying to steal my shit. Hopefully I get a key now. I reckon I'm probably 100 imps in now, and I haven't got a key yet. But still, fuck it. I like this shit. Very good. Hey, nice. First key. I'm going to stay around until I get a second, just in case I die. Because I'm 99% sure. I, I just watched a couple guides on how to solo Saradomen. And they said, you will die. So, that was very, um, you know, very pleasing to hear. We got it, baby. Let's go. So, I just went and finished um, Edgar, Edgar's Ruse, because that actually unlocks Trollheim teleport. So, I can now switch my... House tabs to be Trollheim teleports. Otherwise, I can't necessarily do efficient runs of Gob Wars. Okay, I'm about to attempt something very stupid. I've never done this before. 
I think where it is right now is the perfect spot, but I'm not going to go in because I'm not not prepared. Or am I? Should I do it right now? All right, if I can get these pots up in time, I'm doing it. Stamina. Oh, nah, I've lost it. I'm probably going to die. I'm going to record the whole kill and just see how I go. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, so we killed it first. That's, uh, I fucked that up a lot, but, oh, 20k cash, that's not too bad. I know what I fucked up, so I, I can fix it quite easily. Um, other than that, I think I have a lot of stuff I need to, I need to fix up. Low pipe on, what do we got? Rune kite shield, that's right, baby. Um, that time, I only actually took one hit from Ziliana, which is still, like, not optimal, but... Uh, let's try and play, play for Clat. Nope. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Another rune card shield. Fucking hell. Alright, so once again, I brought too many restores, but I'd be fucking over the moon if I can get another kill on this trip. Because that's, I think I'm at, like, what, six kills now on this trip? It's pretty fucking good. Alright, let's go, baby. Yeah, no, nah, definitely not. I'm going to tell you out. Hmm. So what KC am I now? I'm KC 6. So that's 4 in 1. That's pretty fucking good for my second time. I'm getting... Um, I'm taking way too many restores. I, I don't know what I should do. Quick medium clue and we get a fucking Guthix page. Not bad. It's fucking worth fuck all. Fucking emerald. Come on, baby. One more hit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's got to be it. Okay. See what the loot is and then telly. No! Uh, that's why I've got a spare ecumenical key. And another medium clue, we got an Addy Plate Skirt T. So two, two uniques in two clues, not bad. Yeah, so that's going to be the end of the video right there. We actually got a lot of shit done in this episode. Like, I got a lot of stats trained. It probably looked like there wasn't much in this video, but the time that I spent on doing these things, you know, it... That's why this video took so long to make. Like the 70 agility, 72 thieving, and fletching, and all that shit just took fucking ages, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I can now quite... Like the last trip I did at Sarah was six kills in one trip, which I think is pretty good. If any other Zerks um, are here and, and, you know, frequent Sarah Doman quite often, um, let me know what is an average amount of kills I should be looking at per trip. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking once I get like really good at it and have my inv perfect eight kill trips are going to be pretty average for me um but yeah i've got a i've got a ban uh sorry a Zara fuck zamorak task now so i can do that but i want to go back and do some more saradome and hopefully we get some loot but uh that's where i'm going to finish the episode here guys if you did enjoy this episode uh be sure to drop a like uh if you're new make sure to subscribe and yeah um i'll see you guys next time next video will probably be a pking video or I don't know, something, something's coming up, boys. So, yeah, go check out my Twitch as well. I'll be streaming over the next couple of days. I've streamed every single day this last week. Um, PK's been really good. I had a lot of support, so thank you to everyone who's been there. And, yeah, thanks, guys. Catch you later.